Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and today we're going to go through six news on the design world. And we're gonna start with Framer Design. Framer just released a new version of their software, and on this they included a design part, Framer Design. And on this one, it looks a lot like Sketch or other design tools like Figma. Uh, it has a layers list, you can add text layers, rectangles, uh, circles. So it has the basic tools to create your own designs inside Framer without the need of using Sketch or other design tools like Figma or Adobe XD. So what they're trying to do is to create an all-in-one design workflow tool, which is pretty ambitious and th something that I think we all designers kind of want. We don't want to be using Sketch and then jumping to another tool to create something. And then after that, jump into another tool that is going to create the prototype and probably jump into another tool that is going to create the handoff. So in that attempt, I applaud them. I would say that personally right now, I wouldn't move my current workflow to Framer totally. I will probably do it slowly and just see what are the updates that they keep coming up with. Right now, Sketch is really ingrained in my workflow. All the collaboration, all the uh, handoff, all the prototyping tools, everything is, I'm doing it on Sketch right now. But I will say that in the past, that's the same thing that people were saying about using Photoshop or Illustrator. So I'm open to the idea of using a different tool for my design workflow. I'm working on a crash course, just a simple crash course to get you started using Framer. So I will have that in the future, but if you want to get started, they do have uh, basics, videos, and a really good documentation. So you can go through all of those and get into Framer quickly. Another big update was from the Envision team. They just released Craft Prototype, and Craft Prototype just allows you to create, well, prototypes inside Sketch. So you just connect layers and groups to screens, and then you create all these connections, and then they translate towards a prototype, an Envision prototype. And you can just play from there, open the prototype, test it, see how it feels. After two weeks of using it, it has become really natural to me. I use it every day, and I don't use it only for creating prototypes. I also use it just to connect the screens and even show to different stakeholders my workflow. To say like, hey, when you click on this, it takes you to this screen. And since it creates like these really nice arrows that just like show you how the workflow, how everything is connected. I think that is a big wing. Even if it's not the prototype, I use that a lot. It just gives you a bird's eye view of how every screen is connected. So that's, I have found that really, really useful. I made a video where I just talk about craft prototype. We create a prototype with it. And so you should check it out. I'm going to add a link to it. Another thing was a website that was just released uh, last week, which is called Will Robots Take My Job? And it's a pretty fun tool just to check out whatever your profession is. You type it in and then you see the probability of a robot in the future taking your job to being automated. So I have good news for us designers. Apparently, the percentage of our jobs being taken by robots is not too high. So right now it looks like it we're in the safe zone. Uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but it gives me peace of mind that apparently robots are not going to take my job. I took a job! They took our jobs! Something fun that happened this week was that Skype just released their new rebranding and a new uh, update to their product. And it's... <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but it's... Uh, it looks pretty trendy and cool, and they added GIFs, and they added stories, and look at us. We're super cool. We added gradients everywhere. GIFs, 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 GIFs. It's, I will say personally, I find it, I don't know, kind of weird, but I applaud the efforts from the Skype team to rebrand their product, to try something new, and that, that's pretty cool. Also, recently, there was an 
a website just released called Women Who Design. And it's pretty much a directory of different women in the design industry. And you can filter it by art directors, by the profession, by uh UX designers, product designers, everything. A lot of talented people there. If you want to hire someone or if you want to follow someone, so just check it out. I'm adding a link in the description too. I also want to share Intro to Icons, which is a really fast-paced course on the fundamentals of icon design. This was created by Matt D. Smith, and it's a free course with around like 20 videos, and it's divided in three sections, and it goes like from the basics towards something where you actually create icons. So I highly recommend it, and I'm going to add a link to it. It's pretty cool. Something else, just for inspiration, there's a website called Switch to iPhone. So it's a website released by Apple where they list the reasons why you should switch from Android to iPhone. And I don't know, it, it, it's kind of weird coming from Apple. It, it, it sounds like they're in the defensive, right? It, it kind of makes me want to try Android. <laughs> it gives me the opposite. Uh, so, but uh, but I, the website is kind of cool. They also have gradients everywhere. I, I, I found the use of video really interesting, so I'm just adding it as an inspiration side. And also, I would love to know what do you think about this new kind of campaigns by Apple. And just to finish, we got to 20,000 subscribers, which is freaking awesome. I, I really appreciate your support. It's been a really fun year. Uh, I started this channel just creating crash courses on sketch and principle. Just wanted to uh, give back to the community the stuff that I have been learning in the past years. And I wanted other people to feel like learning design was accessible and was reachable. And I want to keep doing videos where are on the technical side, on tutorial side, but I also want to keep doing more videos about design thinking and uh, the more human side of design. So I'm gonna keep working on that. And I really, really appreciate your support. Super thankful. And that's it. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Bye-bye.